Alrighty guys, welcome to Oru's Crypt, the last part of our little cemetery section of this zone, I believe. I think this is where we're getting to the end here. And I got a few hours to myself, so let's see if we can finally shave off Legend of Grimrock one by one. Well, uh, ultimately, just all together. So, when to when get to service? Let's find out exactly where this takes me. It takes me right... Ooh, there's a lockpick. Speaking of lockpick, someone pointed out that somewhere, at some point... I don't think I actually checked the video itself, but they said I missed a lockpick somewhere. Not overly concerned, though, because my character has eight. <laughs> so, whoops if I missed one, but hey! Now this is unlocked, so now, we, now we're back here at that block puzzle at the very beginning. Good to know. Nice to have a shortcut down there so we don't have to go through the uh, subsequent area again. It also means we have one less direction to explore right off the bat, which will make this a little more simple. We have a healing crystal upstairs. I'm gonna go right, because it point that seems to be the direction the crystal's in. Shield potion. Anything around here? Oh, and there's the uh, healing crystal right there. Alright, found it. Can I not... I can't put it on my map, because I can't physically set foot there, so, uh... Healing... Let's try that again. So we have the healing crystal right here. I'm gonna mark it with a feather. So we can't mark it by just walking to it like we normally do. So what does Oro's Crypt entail? Crypt of Oro Warmbound. Uh, fallen in numerous battles, but risen again with the power of the crystals. I'm gonna die. But anyway, I would more, I'd be more than happy to finish this game. I don't think there's much left. Uh, I think all that's left after this zone is basically... How many skull keys are there? There's one skull key there, one there. One, there's at least three. Uh, I believe all that's left in this game is to do this zone, and then we do whatever happens in the castle. I, when I, 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 I you, uh, how do I explain this? I do look up information about games when I'm playing them, but I try to, I, sound. What am I hearing? Oh, it's a spike trap, okay. So we have a chest in there, we're gonna wanna mark that. Uh, Let's, let's actually mark that. I've heard, my usual thing is uh, exclamation points. So, unopened chest. Uh, I look up the basic structure information of games as I'm playing them. I'm careful not to spoil myself, of course, because I don't want to know the solutions to puzzles or even what the puzzles are in advance. So we have multiple. So we have the sanctuary. I should right. I should be labeling these. But my understanding is that all that's left after this is basically I can do a little bit of cleanup for any. Uh, I can do a little bit of cleanup for any puzzles that I've missed, or any clues I have in my inventory about what certain things mean. Laboratory, so I should I should be labeling these so I just know where they go. So we're doing the, uh, is, it, is that how it's spelled? It is spelled laboratory, okay. I always think of it as laboratory, but Dexter's lab helps me spell the word properly because he's always like, he's always like, Didi, get out of my laboratory! Uh, mausoleum. We have, wow, immediately a three-part teleporter. Okay. Mausoleum. I don't think I spelled that right. Mazo mausoleum. That's a harder word to spell. Okay. Did I do it right? <laughs> mausoleum, mausoleum. There we go. Proud of myself. All right, so we have three places to go. Sanctuary, mausoleum, laboratory. Is this also a... Oh, power gem. Okay. So we need those very much. How many do I have exactly? I forget exactly. So I have two. There's two left in the game. One of them's right there in front of me. I Let's check the map real quick. I don't think I've left any left. Gold key for meteor boots. Right. I still need a gold key if I want to get those boots. But I think I've gotten every power gem I've, that I've seen so far. So that's one of them. So we still have one left to find in the game. We're going to go into the sanctuary first because that just sounds like the most pleasant one. And I'd like to start off things a little more mellow. It's probably not the pleasant one. Probably going to die horribly. But yeah, I would love to finish this game. Not because I don't. Not because I want to it off my plate or anything. Because I I love this game and I want to keep. Oh god! It's just it would be it'd be very nice to be able to focus more heavily on a uh, Dragon Age Inquisition by having more of the other games out of the way. Huh. And yeah, there's definitely you guys definitely are eating that series up. There's demand more than I was expecting for it. Really, I thought I I, I thought for sure I'd be lost in the uh, noise for that game. Let's see people- Oh god, there's two of them? Okay. We're just gonna have to fight this one out. Uh, fuck you guys. I'm in deep shit, actually. I was not expecting another one to just come on- Okay, he's dead. 
Fuck that guy. Burn you. Up. Oh. oh, you're paralyzed. That's not good. And you're dead. Okay, that could have gone worse. Huh. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy to be close to the end of this game. Not the full end, though. I'll still be revisiting this game because... Well, I might revisit this game. Because there's custom dungeons. And if we're and, and if we're lucky, the community will actually be making good custom dungeons. If they turn out to be shit, then maybe we won't spend so much time with that feature. But that seems like the long-term... Oh god. Oh, I did not successfully dodge that. Alright, fireball. Shoot another one at me, you motherfucker? I'll shoot you back. How about that? Oh, that missed. Oh, that did not miss. <laughs> Let's see, so we have a healing crystal n close by, so I shouldn't be too worried in general. Because the crystal should be easy to access at any point by just going back to the teleporter. Let's see, but yeah, I'd love to I'd love to finish this game up just to have one less uh, editing intensive game to deal with. Because this game has big file sizes and long recording sessions and complicated editing. With multiple gates I can't get through. There's a there's a blade down there and a pressure plate. But how do I activate pressure plate? This is also closed. Any secret buttons? Be, they usually be roughly in this area. Okay, where does teleport take me? Not to my immediate death, surprisingly. Oh, hey! It took me behind the gate. Okay, let's take this slow. Seems like a pla place where bad stuff happens. Ooh. Hey, horned fruit! Horned fruits are for... Bugs. Bugs eat fruit. Did not reward me this time, but we tried. Uh, and eggs are given to lizards, if I remember correctly. I decided to drop my trusted axe into the teleporter to see if it was safe. I, I wish I knew... I wish I would know where it went. So someone dropped their trusty axe into the teleporter. But what teleporter? The one that I went through? Because that didn't take me there. Maybe this switch will switch it back? Let's see. It, where, yeah, it took me back to the same spot. Okay. So maybe if I throw an item in there, you know, maybe items get sent one way and people get sent another way? Wow, figured that out fast. What opened? This gate? Yep, okay. We are on the right track here. Yep, something on the floor now. There's the pressure plate. Is this, is this a good axe? It's a good... <laughs> is this a good axe? <laughs> I could not have planned that joke better. Is this a good axe? No, it's a great axe. <laughs> 18 to 55. Yeah, it's not It's not that great of an axe, though. Bane is a much better axe, unfortunately. But good to have. Okay, this room's full of... It's full of all the sparkles. What do these pl pressure plates do? Do they make... What's down there? There's just a second floor down there? Does this ladder take me down there? Let's take the ladder first. This ladder seems like a more reliable area to walk into. Okay, so I'm under this. I'm under the weird floor. Is there anything in here, or is it just a weird zone? I was kind of figuring if there's any enemies that are going to spawn around here, I could just have them show up right now. But I'm not seeing much yet. No, okay. Not so much. Okay, we'll just go back upstairs and give it a shot. I just I I don't trust sparkle floors. After our previous encounters, where the sparkle floors drop us on our asses? Is, is there anything moving out there? What does this do? Alright. When the room is void of light, this door will open. Oh, so we have to get rid of all of the light. We have to get rid of all the light, but we also have to be over- Oh god. Oh. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. It's- it's getting rid of light after I stop off, step off platforms. Okay, so I assume stepping on these platforms is how we bring the light back? There we go. Okay. So what's going on here is it's a puzzle where I have to carefully navigate the entire area without stepping anywhere twice, which is nuts. So let's try first looping around here. Did I, I immediately fucked up, didn't I? One, two... Yeah, I can't get all these without looping onto myself. Huh. 
The tough thing is that you have to get around the entire room without stepping anywhere twice, but you also have to get everyone, every single spot, and your your uh, ending point presumably has to be like right here, because if, if your ending point isn't right here, then you're screwed. Okay, this might take me a few tries. Son of a bitch. All right, this, this is gonna be difficult. So I tried that path already. The, que the big question here is getting these spots right here can be tough. Unless I start here. No, even that doesn't work. How do I get in the corner? Guess who doesn't have a plan? Oh wait, I can go da, 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 da. And then loop around the way I was before, but go a different way. That was the big sticking point. I was, I was like, how do I handle this specific corner without, uh, without looping into myself? But it looks like I can go over there. Yeah, I can, I can loop around over there when I get there. Okay, so that's, we have a better start this time. Where do I want to go from here? Let's go this way. Careful. Ah. Uh, ha 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 ha. Oh, did I? F I'm fucked already. Damn it. This, can, I tr can I throw something? Is that an option? Can I be like, hey, look. There's a. What's the thing I can knock? There we go. A dagger. Nope. Daggers are not things that trigger this stuff. What if I put a dagger down? And then pick it back up. Nope, it is your foot. There's no work around here. Okay, so I think I have a good start for the puzzle, but I'm more, I am stuck now where I can't get the, both the left and right tiles without looping back on myself. Look how close I am, though. I can be like, huh? Da, 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 da. Ha ha! That's one. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. The I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna redo the first half off camera, and I'll see you guys in the second half, where I think I can pick a different cho uh, path, perhaps. All right, so I lied a bit, and I, ju I just kind of kept going off camera and experimenting until I figured that out, and I think I finally got it. So I need I need to loop all the way around back through here, I think, in order to solve this at all. So really, the way to go is to start here in the middle, leave all this open, because no matter what I did, when I got to that one spot, it was always. Uh, still lit up, and there was no way to get rid of it. But now if I go around like this, I can actually get every single spot, if I'm careful. There we go! Hey! That wasn't too bad. It only took me like, I don't know, four minutes, I want to say? It took a little bit of experimentation, that was a little confusing. Let's give us some, our people some food so they don't starve to death while I'm trying to move forward. Definitely quick save, so if I die, I don't have to do that again. We have, uh, is that a lockpick? Ooh, it's a skull key. Okay, that's one of three. So that was pretty much the, that was the puzzle of the sanctuary, I guess. I guess sanctuary is sort of fitting, because it doesn't seem to have any baddies in it at all. So far. Keeping an eye out for secrets, just in case, but I don't know if we'll find any. We, ooh! More herbs for my herb carrying dude. There you go. Enjoy that, alchemist. Got more for you. Not a lot, but just a little more to wet the whistle. If only there was a crystal. I feel like at this point in the game, we're far enough in the game, I think, where every single... Everything... Every spe special uh, alchemist prize, I feel like, should have a uh, crystal flower in it, just to help me out here. Is this just the way out? I guess this is the cave that lets us out. I'm paranoid about there being buttons around here. I'm not seeing- I haven't seen a single secret button in this crypt yet, which is weird. I guess if I- I guess pr if p possibly, uh, what's that? Is it gonna open the floor for me? Oh, it's opening the- opening that wall there. Okay. I guess if this is- if the crypt- if the crypt is where all the puzzle makers were laid to rest, then presumably the- Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there's a button. There is a button right there. Ah, oh, no! How do you press a button that's behind... Can I, like, shoot a fireball at it? <laughs> the fireball just ominously went through the portal. Is there anything... Any unexplored zone around here? There's a little bit down there. I'll check that out real quick. Uh, there's a button right behind the teleporter! Let's try to note that for later, I guess. I don't know how the hell you get a button behind a teleporter, especially since that teleporter seems to be the only way in and out of this zone. So, like, I don't know what you would accomplish by turning it off. Okay, so we, I, I never went down here, I guess? Oop, it got dark in here. 
Gotta activate that again. Very nice mood lighting whenever it's turned off, though. Got a greater energy potion. I'm all for the potions. And scroll of fire shield. So it's how you cast a spell that makes you resistant to fire. Obviously. Not a terrible thing to have, especially if you're navigating those fire traps, which, for all I know, I've, I've already finished exploring forever. I am just accumulating weird potions on my... on my, uh... On my, uh, on my, uh, what, fuck, fuck, Minotaur character. I was trying not to say Torin. <laughs> He's just covered in these weird potions that I have not been using because I'm terrified of using relatively unique consumables, which is dumb because I'm on the verge of beating the game. I'll probably spam potions like crazy when I'm actually beating the game. Okay, so let's put our first skull key in. I'm gonna just put them where I am. Did that open this? No. Did it do anything to the teleporter? Still can't do anything about the fact that there's a... How do you press a button behind a teleporter? That's totally new for me. So what happened because I put it in there? I don't think... I guess the key itself must not trigger anything? You must have to do all three. Let's see. Let's do the laboratory next. I'll save, uh... I'll save the mausoleum for last, I think. I was gonna go back to the, uh... I was about to go back to the, uh... What do you call it? The healing crystal, but I guess we don't need that yet because no one's actually been hurt. There was no fight there. Oh god. Oh dear god. That's just like every... Is that every enemy in the game caught inside of a... I think that's genuinely every enemy in the game stuck inside of a, a case. Yep. The ass... These guys are the worst, by the way. The goddamn mosquito squad. Although, I guess they're easy to kill now, so it's not so bad. But a lot of the insect types are really irritating. Also, I think this warg suffers from scoliosis. His, his poor misshapen spine. What do we have here? There's the mummies. Oh god, mummies and rats in one square. That's just rude. <laughs> I guess there wasn't an even number of monsters, so they had to just squish them into the same case. So we have skeleton archers. And we have, uh, normal skeletons. Oh, there's a keyhole. A golden keyhole. Hello, friend. You're not- most of these guys aren't too tough, but a few of the cursed monsters are a little too rough. We have a door here, but how do you activate it? This pull chain will give me a stick. It'll probably also open those guys, right? Is there a pull chain here? Yep. Pull chain for a golden keyhole. Probably unlocks all these guys. I differ. Who am I? Oh. That looks... That looks like an important staff. Ooh. And that's a golden key. So I need that golden key if I want to go through this golden hole, I assume. Uh... This seems like the most fitting time to ever hit quick save in the history of this entire video game. So right, let's go for let's go for the golden key. Ow! Oh god! Wait, did it only let one guy out? Because that's not very threatening. I just go like blam, oh blam. I like those asshole. I guess that's not very effective against you. Oh, that was very effective against you though. I'm gonna take your rocks. They're mine now. Okay, maybe not him though. Enjoy these rocks, Minotaur. I don't know why I make you do this. Okay, so this one did not do that. I bet you that you're supposed to open- you're probably supposed to open the one with the stick, right? Yeah. Oh! Became something else. What is that? It looks like a steak made of crystal. It's a crystal steak. This, the, the missing link of the crystal set is the crystal steak. Oh, it's a- it's an ongoing thing. I differ. Who am I? Oh, they're all gonna change. There was a key- there- oh, three of them were gold last time. The, the puzzle was that three of them were gold and one of them was a stick. So this is food, food, potion. I assume that's a steak, so it's food. So potion is different. So every time you're wrong, another monster comes out and attacks you. Okay, that makes sense, I understand. So we have an axe, a shield, a club, and a, and a helm. So, there, so it's, I was thinking of weapon versus armor, but we have a shield and a helm and two weapons. Metal? Not metal. Metal. Metal? Does it, it's, it's got metal on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope it's the one that's not metal at all. Ow! All right, who am I fighting? I'm fighting someone, right? Oh, it's one of these assholes. Why? Why? Oh, he's gonna paralyze my dudes. Gunshot. <laughs> Anyone else? Oh god, there's multiple enemies. Oh wow, he died fast. What do you get for being a shitty little skeleton archer? 
Wow, so the, the punishment escalates, apparently. I accidentally opened that guy's inventory. Please die. Please die. Please stop living. There we go. Very polite of you. I'm not overly concerned about the danger to my health, just because, uh, at the very least, uh, the healing crystal's not too far off. Also, I can learn, I can memorize the solution to my puzzle and just solve it pa faster next time without the mistakes. Okay, so axe, shield, club, helm. Well, the hel I, I, I thought this one was the different one because it's the only one that's not metal, but maybe this one's different because it's the only one you don't hold? Yay! So the secret was to use a hand, the one that's not a hand. So we have a, a bomb? Specifically a fire bomb, by the way, because that's the symbol for fire. Uh, we have a potion that I can't identify from here because it's just a bottle. We have a book. And we have a hat. Uh, let's see, fire, regeneration, learning a skill. What is a hat? Do, do we have wizard? Is willpower? Is one of these specifically not magical in nature? They're all kind of magical, aren't they? Let's see. I'm gonna go with the bomb because it's the only one that's offensive that I know of. Nope. I'm take okay, turtle time. Turns out turtles have not scaled up very well in the meantime, since the first zone of the game. Just go ahead and stop living, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mushroom. You're not dead yet. I thought I thought you'd be dead by now. There we go. And of course we have annoying little rats, don't we? Hello, rats. Uh, fuck you. That did not hit you at all. I did not plan that very well. Oh, there's oh there's more. Because of course there's more. Let's do an ice attack on the rats. Uh, Please die, rats. How do you? F I don't. I've forgotten a little bit about how to fight rats. Oh right, the fire burst attacks affects the whole square. There we go. A pack of mummies. Do you have an idea how many sets of you I've killed so far? Oh wow, that was effective. Oh, they're still dying from the fire damage. Neato. And now they're dead, dead. Okay, so that was incorrect. How are these different? I mean, I I feel like they're all different. So the answer is yes, everything. <laughs> Frankly, though, if I have to, if I just kill everyone in this room, which I totally could, I think, probably wouldn't be that bad. And then I could just guess. But, uh, so the bomb is not the answer. I can't tell what kind of potion that is. I just know it's a lesser po- <gasps> Oh. Nope, never mind. My brain is not. So blue, blue, blue. I don't know. Blue is not the answer. Because obviously, I don't know what that is, and that's not blue. So those two things being blue is not the answer. Ah, uh, there's so much- Puzzle to be had. Uh, hat? Why did it become a spider? I guessed, by the way, guys. I have no fucking clue what makes a hat different from... The I don't know what the other three things had in common. Uh, feel free to suggest in the comments. So we have a spider. Ugh. We have slime. It's a turtle! Aw. A uh, snake. So, reptile. Reptile fantasy monster spider uh, eight legs no legs four legs body thing uh, fangs fangs blob I feel like just as a general rule the blob is the thing that's different isn't it oh wait is it poison damage poison damage turtle poison damage I'm gonna go with that. That sounds clever. Yeah! I did it! The difference was that three of them attack you with poison. It's, uh, that, 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 that thing uses fire attacks, it flies, it's a reptile dragon. Undead just hits you with swords, I mean axes, a lot. It's dead. Rock elemental is, it, is, un, is maybe, it, maybe it's gonna be, the theme is the three are dead? Because this thing is, uh, not alive, it's a uh, animated rocks also also hits you with melee nope you're alive god damn it you're not you're not you're not dead at all okay so it's four legged four legged beast creature uh so we have two we have two living creatures two living creatures we have two animated creatures one flying creature uh Two of them are predators, two of them are animated things. What the fuck? 
Uh, what do they have in common with each other? Well, you're you're found in Twigroot Forest, right? You're found in Twigroot Forest. You're not found in Twigroot Twig Forest. You're found. Uh, three of them are above ground enemies. One of them's an a below ground enemy. I've never seen an. Over I don't think I've ever seen an undead above the surface. Is the only thing I can think of right now. Ow! Ow! Why did it have to be the bugs? Get out of here! Okay, he's dead already. That was that was not a big deal. Fuck you! I'm not scared of your shit. Get out of here, bug creature. There we go, he's dead. I'm not scared of you guys! I'm gonna wreck your shit! I'm gonna wreck your shit! You're just like a fucking worgen or something! I hope- hopefully I can figure out what this one is when I guess. I'll be a little- it'll be, I'll be bummed out if I have multiple ones where I just guess correctly eventually and that's just why I get through. But yeah, I'm not sure what makes them different. Make him eat a bit. There we go, he's down. If they drop anything, we get a little- a little more meat to fill the hole with. Did my light run out already? Oh, the light didn't run out. It's just there's less cages in the room. Let's check behind here. Nope. I thought there might be a, a, a hidden button behind some of the cages. Okay. Uh, shielded. Fire attack. Physical. Physical. Oh, motherfucker. This one has this one shoots, shoots fire projectiles. There we go. Hey! It was the exact same puzzle as the previous question. I don't know why I didn't get that. You just had to pick the one that also shoots the different element from the other ones. Okay. Hopefully that's the reason. Oh! Spikes are around. What's this? Leather gloves. Yeah, yeah, I need those at this point in the game. Right. You nailed it. <laughs> A letter. Those are- oh god, the whole floor is spikes. I decided to drop my trusted axe in the teleporter. Oh yeah, that's not relevant. Uh... Dear visitor, what can never be observed, but what can never be observed, but its presence prevents everything from being seen. Answer me this, and you, and you shall be guided to the other side. Uh, darkness? What can never be observed, but its presence prevents everything from being seen. Darkness. Okay, so darkness. Uh. Shit. Uh. I think I need to make the room dark. But I can't do that till my light wears off. So, to test this theory, we're just gonna sit here and wait until my light wears off. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in a bit. Can I just use darkness? Oopsie. Is it against the wall? That was a bad idea. Right at this is the darkness spell I want. There we go. So I cast a darkness to negate all m m uh, light and non magical light in my party. Is that an item down there? Is it our random? Oh, weird. The parts that uh, oh, let's try removing this this from the wall. Now it's light. Oh, there's a torch down there. Really? Okay, fine. I see how you roll, you motherfucker. Is there a pattern to when these things open and close, though? I'm about to die. Yeah, there we go. No, go. Ah. Motherfucker, I walked past it. Alright. There we go. So it lights up all the places that are about to not have spikes on them. And I can use those to get across. Hey, look, there's cheese. If only I had a rat. Alright, so we'll wait for a light to be right under me. Okay. Run to the light. This is a neat puzzle. Sit. Cheese is mine. Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna die now. Why- Why did you expect me to run so far? That's a dick move game. I'm about to- ah. I'm all hobbled by the fact that I have so many dead people in my party now. I'm fucked. Whatever, I made it. Fuck you guys. Li fucking insect master race, live forever. <laughs> ah, That was a bummer. Oh, three of them are dead. And let me guess, I'm gonna pick this up? Skull key, good for you. You did it. You got a skull key. Oh no, is he crippled? You are dead. Is, is something in his inventory too heavy for him? Is that the problem here? Let's see, let's just heal up my insect knight. Give some items to... What is overburdening him? Just a bunch of healing... a bunch of mana potions? There we go. Oh, now you're overburdened. Gosh dang darn it. Ah, oh, yeah. I just want to carry everything around without 
Try leaving it behind. How is- why is that such a crazy thing to ask for? Let's put a few things in here really quick. What's the other bag look like? All the sets are all the skulls. Let's put some heavy shit in here. Where it's out of sight. And then we'll take some cannonballs and put them over there, right? Alright, now no one's overburdened. And frankly, my insectoid will probably survive the run regardless. So we got that skull key. Checking for secrets real quick. No secrets. Alright, let's go. Come on. Quick! Okay. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah! Yeet, yeet, yeet. We made it. Okay, we're good. We're good. We did the laboratory. It's over. Okay. And these guys are just gonna stay here forever, I guess. I don't know how long, long, how long they've been here up to this point, but I'm about to go back to a healing crystal, because I can't see shit. Please don't be full of death chamber, because I need to revive. It's very dark in here. Where's the healing crystal? Right back here. Okay. So people died horribly, but that's fine. It's cool. We will survive after all. Ta-da! Let's do our light again. 